up? I am back. We are now recording every day's 150. For those that don't know, every day's is the journal that I keep where I ask myself, what's the future? Literally every day. And you can see it at everydays.wtf. Today, we're going to be looking at this tool known as WebChat GPT. So I've just recently installed it and let's see what it's about. So I just got, I just like, I literally just added to Chrome. I, I didn't uh, do anything else. Um, ideally, we can go back. Here we go. So we'll see. So ideally, what they're saying is you can augment your chat GPT prompts with relevant results from web. This extension adds relevant rub results to your prompts for to chat GPT for more accurate and up to date conversation. It's obviously an open source project. We can go see that on GitHub right here. And what's fascinating is the dude's been building and up dating it even as we speak in the last six hours uh, he's putting he's putting things together now what's interesting is it adds web access to chat gpt so i don't i don't i don't know what this means but uh i think i haven't used it so what i think is you're going to be able to get more up-to-date information with chat gpt because the way that they train the model is it largely was compiled with data, you know, 2021 and not too much of 22. Uh, they've had some instances where they've updated it uh, in very specific instances. Like if we ask uh, chat, um, who is the CEO of Twitter? It should say uh, Elon Musk. Uh, yeah, so it says Elon or let's see. All right, it looks like this new extension. Who is the CEO of Twitter? I should say Elon Musk. Oh. All right. All right. So that's uh, fascinating. It doesn't say it. It says that it's knowledge cut off. The CEO of Twitter is Parag Agarwal. So it, it doesn't have up-to-date information. So let's uh, let's go see what this is. Uh I've never used web chat GPT and we don't have a lot of time to get this every day is out the door. So what we're going to do is we're going to like learn how to use this. Let's go over to GitHub. Let's take a look at the installation contributing. There's no instructions. There's no instructions. All right. We got a video. What is all right. All right, let's, let's check this out. So we'll go back over here. We'll add a new chart. What's the latest news today? Again, I never, uh, I've never used this, so we're learning together. Okay. Huh. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. I think this might. So, I mean, this is actually crazy. Uh, um, man, I hate I hate sometimes when when you kid hit with all these like it's like they have all these. Uh, they don't want you to use uh, ad blockers, but like they have so so many ads. This just came out. I guess it's on today. It says it's probably getting shared a ton. So let's see about this. So it's like scraping the latest stories and then pulling that information into the web results. That makes sense. Uh, let's try something else. This is. What was the closing price of Apple stock? All right, let's go here. 143, closing price. Previous 
Because okay. Five. Not bad. This is not bad. I actually could see this being super useful. And this is actually pretty, pretty badass. What was Apple's Q1 2023 earnings report like? see what they're talking about here um schedule for, for uh, oh wow wow huh i think this is how you supercharge chat gpt web chat gpt is actually pretty official i could see it being used a ton especially if you want a little bit more uh, specific data and you want some links and some sources let's see uh what this what this does here it you know it get a lot of ad blocks but you know the the problem with this that i can see happening is you're going to get a lot of instances where the data just isn't going to be correct right because it's just scraping information from websites and it's not really verifying like you know it says iphone in canada.ca like i don't know if that's a real website or not and if it's not then i'm kind of screwed because i'm sourcing that and using that in my information but if it is a real website then i'm actually in a much better position than using the standard uh, model that was trained you know in the past and it doesn't necessarily have the most up-to-date information so this is a good interim solution obviously i think OpenAI is probably thinking about how they can do something like this in real time, and they'll probably charge us for it if I was them. Um, that would be something I think most users of ChatGPT would use. But this is a really cool extension. And the cool thing about Chrome extensions is all you have to do is just install it, uh, and you know you're, you can do exactly what I just did. So uh, you watch me experiment with that today. I learned a ton, and... This could be very, very helpful if you need to do research, but you also want to write it in a way that uh, is is more comprehensive and it allows you to save time on just like going and getting information because it's like you can copy and paste this and use this in an email or a document and it's not perfect. It's not beautiful, but at least you have a source so you can hyperlink and at least you have uh, more information than you would get if chat was just not using the web so that's my consensus i will catch you all in the future and thanks again for tuning in